Hey everyone, welcome back to Brickhead Barista. Thanks for joining me again. And thank you to everyone who commented on my most recent video. I really do appreciate the feedback and the comments there. Thank you particularly to Deroy1984, who suggested the topic for today's video. What I'm going to be doing is giving you a beginner's guide, if you like, a general overview and a walkthrough of the process involved when you're ordering parts on Bricklink. So we're going to log into the computer. I'm going to show you how to find parts, how to set up a wish list and a shopping list, and finally place an order with a Bricklink seller. So if you think that's something that will be helpful for you, please do stick around. Let's get into it. Okay, so here we are at the Bricklink homepage. Now, if you haven't already set up an account, you'll need to do that first. So there's this login and register button here. I obviously already have an account, so I'm just gonna log in. The register process is pretty easy. You can just click on create account down here, but I'm gonna log in for now. And that'll take us to our homepage. So what we're gonna do now is just have a look at how we set up a shopping list essentially. So if you were going to get all the parts you needed to build one mills plate, that's what I'm gonna show you how to do. Now, the first thing you might want to do is go up to the want section here, this brick heart click on wanted list. Now there's always a default wanted list here and that's where parts will automatically go unless you have set up a specific wanted list. Um, so I'm going to go create a new list and then we'll call this Mills Plate and create wanted list. So we now have an empty wanted shopping list here and then we need to search for some parts. Now I always find it easier to use part numbers and generally I've had to just Google search them. So I'll put, for example, two by two brick, two by two Lego brick into Google and it'll give you the part number. So I've now got a list of the part numbers that I know I regularly buy because you can put a description in here into the search bar for what you want. So the first part we're gonna want is a base plate. So we're gonna put I'll just show you a 32 by 32 base plate. I'm going to hit the return. I'll just click on search and that will bring up any part in the Bricklink inventory that has any of these search terms in, which isn't always that helpful. But what you can see is the one that we want is top of the list and it does give the Lego part number 3811 there as well. So what I would have done that was just for demonstration. I would have put the part number that I've got a separate list of into the search bar and it'll bring up the parts that you want down here. So I click on 32 by 32 base plate, which is what I want. Now, the color doesn't matter for these necessarily. Um, so I'm not going to select a specific color, but if you wanted to, there's a drop down menu here you can select the color that you want. Now, if this was the only part that I was buying, generally speaking, you want to be getting parts from your country of residence to save on shipping costs, depending on how much you're buying, of course. So to narrow it down, actually before we get there, you can select the condition that you want here, yeah, new or used. It doesn't really matter for these because they're going to be covered so as long as they're in reasonable condition and not missing any studs or anything then used is fine but I'm going to leave it on all for now and you can put the minimum quantity in I'm not going to put anything in there because I only want one but if you're buying a whole load of bricks then you might put you know 50 500 however many you wanted into the minimum quantity there but more importantly in the more options section here I tend to always buy from within the United Kingdom where I'm based. So I'll select that and then you can search and that'll bring up all the sellers in the UK who have the part that you want. Now, importantly, you need to check out because we've selected all conditions, a lot of these are gonna be used. And this one says it's got one corner broken off, four studs of one corner yeah, he still wants £1.75 for that, so we're definitely not going to be buying that. So if you're only looking for one part, 
that's pretty much how you would do it but we are currently setting up a shopping list or a wanted list so scroll back up to the top here again I'm not going to select a color but I am going to go to add to my wanted list it will automatically default to the default wanted list be aware of that but you want to add it to your mills plate wanted list any condition and only one of them there we can add to wanted list okay so the next part that we want is 3701 which is a technic brick 1x4 with three holes select that again you don't have to be specific about color I'm not going to be so I'm just going to leave that but you could drop down and choose any that you wanted so most of mine are light bluish grey but for the sake of demonstration I'm not going to select a colour and we're going to add those to our wanted list any condition because they're not going to be seen and we want eight of those I'm just going to demonstrate because if you're doing this quickly you add to wanted list and then all of a sudden you realize, oh no, that's added it to my default wanted list by mistake. You can see here now there's one item in my default wanted list. So I want to move that because I've done that in error. So we go into the default wanted list, click on the checkbox there, and then select move, and move it to where you want it to go, which is the Mills plate wanted list. Move that. Our default list is now empty and our mills plate wanted list has two items in there so we're back to where we need to be so that is how to remedy that and I do it quite a lot without thinking so our next part is part 3002 which is a 2 by 3 brick again not being specific about colour or condition because these are getting covered add to my wanted list and I want eight of these. Make sure you select the Mills plate wanted list and add. Okay, two more parts to go. We want 3003, which is two by two brick. Not selecting color. I found that yellow tends to be the cheapest, but I'm not going to select a color at the moment. Add to my wanted list. Any condition, make sure it's the Mills Plate Wanted List. I want 65 of those. Final part is the plate that goes on top, which is part number 3031. All of these part numbers are in the video that I did about making a Mills Plate, so check that out or just do the Google search as, as I said. Now here you might want to be a bit more specific about plate colour. Uh, if I'm building road plates for example I always want light bluish grey because you will see them and they are the, the same colour as the pavement and the sidewalk. So generally speaking I am specific about these colours and I do tend to get light bluish grey. So light bluish grey there. Add to my wanted list. Now, depends on what you're going to use these for, how you feel about new or used. I tend to go for new with these ones, but I'm going to leave it on any for now. And we need 64 of those added to our Mills Plate wanted list. And that is it. That is all the parts that we need added to our wanted list. Now, what I like to do is to try and get them all from one place. I'm not sure that's always the cheapest way, but it does mean you're only paying one, one lot of shipping. So we're going up to the wanted list here, and it brings up all your wanted lists, and there's an option for easy buy, and that will 
help us to buy all from one, hopefully, location. Okay, so it's not possible to buy it from one location or one store, but it is possible to get it from two. UK Brick World and My Brickery. So these are all the parts that I need. Five different parts and 146 total parts. And this is the two carts that I need to set up in order to get all the parts I need for one mills plate, which as we can see, is gonna cost me 13 pounds 60 plus shipping. So we create carts and then view carts. And then we have to check out individually from each store. There isn't an, an automatic way of checking out from both at this stage. So what you need to do, go into view cart for each one. Now, I'll just point out while I'm here that what it will show you is how many items in stock that store actually has. So they've only got one base plate there. They've only got 20 light bluish grey used plates and they're filling the order with another 36 new. I think it's new there. So we're getting a mixture of used and new plates, which is fine. You can see here that they have got 43 in total of the new 4x4 plate. So you might think at this stage, do you know what? I'll just get a couple of extra and you can update this as required. Or you leave it as it is and then you just go proceed to checkout. So you click on that. That will take you to the store or checkout there and you continue through the purchasing system there. And then you go back to your list after you've checked out and do the next one. So view cart. We're getting a whole load of different stuff here. So two by two brick. We're getting lime green three pence each not bad and again a combination of used and new plate there go through the checkout select your postage options and that is how you order all the parts for one mills plate I just want to show you one more final thing and that is if you're not setting up a wanted list and you just want a couple of things or even just one thing let's go back to the home page just so we clear this out for example if I just wanted a couple I don't know why I would but if I just wanted a couple of the Technic bricks 3701 and I wanted to be specific I want these in well, let's say green. I'm hoping I'm going to be able to find these. I want these in green. I want them to be new. So go down to condition here. I want two new green ones. Minimum quantity of two is what I need. And I only want to buy them in the UK. So we go to more options there and select United Kingdom and then search. Okay, well, there's only one, one vendor, one shop that has these anyway so I don't really have a choice so I'm going to go to view here's the part here and I want to select the quantity that I want they've only got two in stock so I add two to the cart and add items to the cart and I might think do you know what while I'm here I also need a few more bits and pieces so I'm in this store Brick bin UK and I might scroll through all of the parts to see if there's anything else that I want here or I think they're categorized by sets as you can see or if you scroll down parts if I think oh actually I needed it would be interesting I wanted some minifigure heads as well, so I'm going to click on minifigure head there. But I might just have a scroll through, see what he's got. I think, oh, actually, I like this 
this freckly guy here. I'm going to get one of those. And I like oh, this double sided one here, it's a bit grumpy, a bit angry. I'm going to get one of those. Oh, and I love this scared one here. So I'm going to get one of those. And we can just go through and then we'll add those items to the cart. And you can go through and find any other parts that you need. Either searching using part numbers on here. So if I wanted to get some more plate, put in the part number there from him or her. Oh, they've only got sand green plate. That's unusual. And only one of them. So that's probably not a good good example, but if miraculously that is what I wanted, and I only wanted one of those, but add that to the cart as well. And then we go to view cart and check out. So that's how to shop on Bricklink without setting up a wish list, I'm just doing it randomly. If you only need one one part, for example, desperately, and then you just want to fill your basket with other stuff that you may or may not need immediately. That is another way to do it. So hopefully that has been useful. I just want to show you this section here briefly is the My Brick Link section. Just will show you all of your current orders here. Any messages that you've got between you and any stores that you're buying from. Click on orders there. You can see these are all the orders that I've placed. It will show you what you need to do is, for example, let me just show you this section here. These are all completed orders. I've got one order that has been paid for, but they haven't yet sent. And I've got two orders here that have been completed that I haven't submitted changes for. So they will show as shipped. You can mark them as received or completed once you've checked them through. So you can mark as received once you've got the package and then complete it once you've checked the package and you're happy with everything. So yeah, just be aware of that. And then you can post feedback here, which I haven't done for these guys yet, which I need to do. And then yes, once you've changed the order statuses, you can just submit changes. So that is the My Brick Link section, just so you can monitor your current orders. And there we have it. That is Brick Link for beginners, pretty much. I hope it was useful. So there you have it. There's your beginner's guide to Bricklink. I hope you found that useful. If you did, please do leave me a comment to let me know. And also let me know if there are any other subjects you'd like me to cover and I'll try to make videos for you. That said, there are plenty more videos coming from me anyway with more tutorials and of course, more importantly, the further development of the Lego City. We've got plenty more modulars to add as well as other buildings and vehicles. So I'm looking forward to cracking on with that. Now, if you have enjoyed this video, please do hit the like button for me. And if you'd like to see more like it, please do consider subscribing. I think that's enough from me. So for now, take care and I'll see you next time.